Dear viewers, welcome you all to our show, OSA, that is Orthopedic Solution Academy. Hope you all are well during this COVID-19 pandemic situation by wearing masks and keeping distance with each other. Dear viewers, today our topic is the Lizarov's method for tibial fracture in children. A highly demanding topic. And as well as we have three learned academic experts, as well as an highly efficient speaker. Dear viewers, today our academic expert is a Professor Mafakarul Barisar, the legendary orthopedic surgeon of Bangladesh. I would like to request Professor Mafakarul Barisar to join me. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tanvir. Dear viewers, we have two learned uh, academic experts. One of them is uh, academician, a highly academician, uh, Professor Novikov Sir from uh, Purgan, Russia. I would like to request Professor Novikov Sir to join with us. And another one is Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir, from Partner India, very enthusiastic, he is a surgeon. I would like to request both of them to join with us. So, welcome. Dr. Nathan, thank you. Thank you. Uh, dear viewers, uh, we have uh, our speaker today, that is uh, Professor Anatoly, and he is the head of Children's uh, Trauma, Elizabeth National Medical Research Center. Uh, for uh, traumatology and orthopedics, Kurgan, Russia. I would like to request uh, Professor uh, Anatoly Sir to uh, join with us and uh, share his screen with us. Uh, Professor Anatoly Sir, uh, would you please uh, share your screen with us and uh, start your presentation? Good afternoon. I'm ready. Okay. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Please uh, start your presentation, sir. Dear colleagues, uh, I am honored to be a lecture at the Assembly webinar. Today we will discuss the uh, treatment of tibial bone fractures in children by the Lazarov method. Fractured tibia, frequent trauma in childhood, a large number of complications that occur in the treatment of his injury cases discussion among child orthopedics. Among treatments, the main ones are casting with or without closet reduction, flexible intramedullar nailing, plate osteosynthesis, external fixation, rigid intramedullar nailing. Potential disadvantages for casting with or without closet reduction. Recurious frequent follow up with radiographs to monitor for displacement. Prolonged immobilization and cast car. Prolonged weight burn restrictions. Secondary displacement. Malunion. Compartment syndrome. Potential disadvantage for flexible intramedullary nailing. Implant irritation. Second surgery for implant removal. Prolonged weight bearing restriction. Secondary displacement and malunion. Compartment, compartment syndrome. Potential disadvantages for plate osteosynthesis, large incision and surgical exposure, implant irritation, second surgery for implant removal, potential for wound complication, potential disadvantage for rigid intramedullary nailing, second surgery for nail removal, anterior knee pain. Advantage Elizarov method, anatomic closet reduction, fracture stability, even in presence of comminution, small incision allows for management of hard soft tissue injury. Early a burn and range of motion. Management 
of bone fragments during treatment. Physical avoiding no retained implants. In our clinic, indication for operative treatment of tibiofraxial children are as follows open fractures, unstable fractures, including angular virus displacement and intact fibula, polytrauma. Flotating knee, led a best children with difficult cars. <laughs> Operative technique. First step, patient's position on the operating table with traction by foot. Elimination, displacement of bone fragments. Radiograph AP and lateral rotational displacement must be removed. In setting percutaneous instrumentation, frog safe zone reduce the risk of damage of neurovascular structure. Two step. Securely install the proximal ring, then the distal ring, and then the intermediate ring. Three step. We connect ring. Applying now techniques, we produce the final reduction. step final fixation in our clinic an analysis of case of tibial fracture in children over the past 10 years the highest number of cases was observed in boys aged 8 to 40 14 years. The most common fracture were type 42D 5.1 and 42TD 5.1. In patient treatment, duration of pain syndrome free seven day. Weight bearing and range of motion seventy day. Late of stay in the hospital eighteen. The duration of fixation was determined by the age of the patient and the severity of the injury. According to the criteria of Lean, poor treatment result we not noted. Excellent. 80 Present and satisfactory. Complication Superficial infection, pin tract infection, seventy case, six sixty percent, the light units, four case. Four percent. Only two cases you recurrent antibiotics. All cases delayed units of open fractures with still lot two. Clinical case 
boy nine year diagnosis closet fracture of the tibia x-ray analysis before operation two days after operation after removal of a reserve apparatus Two clinical case. Boy, 40 year, closet reduction, closet fracture of the tibia. X-ray analysis. Before operation, three day after operation, after removal of a reserve apparatus. Boy, Five year open multifragmentary fracture of the tibia gustilo two X ray analyzation before operation three days after operation after removal of a reserve apparatus Conclusion The use of a reserve apparatus in the reserve fracture of the tibia in children provides an, anatomy, an, an anatomical reposition, eliminates secondary displacement, and allows achievement consolidation with restoration of correct anatomical parameters. Osteosynthesis by the reserve apparatus is functional. The restoration of the full amplitude of movements in adjacent joints and porosity occur without for first move after the operation. Stosynthesis by the of apparatus eliminates damage to the growth plate and does not affect subsequent growth. Complication observed when using Elizar apparatus did not require rehospitalization and did not affect the end result of treatment. The use of reserve apparatus in the treatment of children with shin fractures made impossible to obtain excellent and good treatment result in 100% of cases. This seven-year-old girl show <coughs> sorry This seven-year-old girl show is the restoration of function of the left lower limb after a tibial fracture. Twelve days have passed since surgery. Method is is very good uh, operative technique uh, for uh, fracture of the children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your excellent presentation. Uh, now, I would like to request uh, Professor Mafakharul Bari, sir, to say something regarding the uh, Elizaro method for uh, tibial fracture in children. Uh, 
Анатолий Корабельников. Слышно? Да, Мари. Okay. Да, хорошо. So, thank you very much for your uh, excellent option because I love to do the Lizar of in children, adolescent and adult. But uh, in your lecture, you have, done, you have done closed fractures and open fractures. Open Gastillo 2, you have not shown, shown any case of Gastillo 3B, exposed bone. What about the exposed bone? Bone is totally visible. Then you put, you have not shown the, even the single case. Gastillo 3B exposed bone. What do you do that with the Lizara or you take the help of plastic surgeon? Gastillo 3B. А что вы делаете тогда? Открытые, как закрываете? Нельзя закрыть э, вот мягкими тканами. Марь, uh, можно на русском? Он, он так и сказал. Да вот я же говорю, я же говорю, а, вот, а, когда под э, кости видно, полностью, да, exposed, exposed, вот кости видно, вот мягкий ткан, вы не можете закрыть. А что вы делаете тогда? За последние 10 лет у нас таких случаев не было, но если бы это случилось, да. если бы это случилось, э, то э, наложив аппарат Лизарова, мы поп попытались бы э, уменьшить э, размер раны за счет дублирования костных отломков, как один из методов. И, и вы, вы, вы берете вот помощь пластического хирурга. Пластическим хирургом работаете? Нет. Нет. В острым нет. Сейчас я говорю, вот, друзья, которые пеналисты есть. Я задаю вопрос. 3B, white bone is exposed. What do you do? His answer is, for the last 10 years, we don't get any gastro 3B here in Kurgan. If we get that kind of uh, gastro 3B, then for children. Then we take the help of the plastic surgeon. Okay. 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 That's great, okay. sir. But we are facing uh, the we are having the gastrolo 3B uh, more than okay. uh, 10 or 15 cases in an, in each and every day in our country. In, in, in uh, so, yeah. So uh, there is a different scenario uh, in every part of the world. Uh, we have to manage our patients according to the need. Uh, sir, uh, do you have any suggestion, Professor Barisar, I would like to request, uh, uh, is there any need uh, to do uh, Elizar in case of uh, uh, closed tibial fracture, especially in case of uh, children? Uh, do you agree uh, with this sort of uh, procedure or do you prefer uh, plaster cast in case of children? Uh, you know, it depends. It depends uh, in uh, depending on the case in every country. But I'm telling you, in Kurgan, they love to do in, in uh, children, in adolescent, even in close by Elizar of technique. Because you can reduce the fragments, it gives a stable stability. And for children, Elizar of fantastic can use it, can very nicely move with the Elizar of apparatus. And in my country also, if it is two years, three years, four years, I don't go for Elizarov. If seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, even in closed fractures, I go for Elizarov, both bones. Because very easy, very easily, patient can walk with the Elizarov apparatus. I do that. <coughs> I, I typically principle of Elizarov, but not all the time. It depends if patient is poor, patient cannot afford. Then I go for plaster also. That is also not strictly that I am totally go for Elizaro, but I love to do that. But but on the basis of different cases from different places, if patient is poor, then I go for plaster immobilization. You understand? Yes, sir. I understand, sir. Uh, in case of plaster cast, uh, we usually do we usually give a, 
uh, back slab uh, in the uh, first seven days, then we will do the full plaster. But uh, what we will do in case of Elizaro, uh, when we will put the Elizaro, uh, the it, day one or uh, day, day five? Day, or day, one seven? Can, day one, you can put the Elizaro. Day one, nothing to be worried. How, how long? Uh, okay, so then how long uh, uh, we will uh, continue the Elizaro? Uh, three weeks or uh, one and a half months in case of TBI? How long? How long we will, we will put the Elizaro uh, for the children? Uh, is it for uh, three weeks or it is for? Uh, one no, and a no. half months. Six, six weeks to eight, two months. You see why I am telling that. In case of children, any kind of deformity, starting from the six months, eight months, nine months, whenever patient comes with deformity, six months old, one year old, or tears, you can easily put a lizard in deformity cases. And that's why they are using the, in open case, this is obvious, in all open case, I do a lizard in children because with biocompatible thin words it is very easily you can put elizar for children with open fractures all open fractures including gastrilo 2 gastrilo 3a and gastrilo 3b and i'm doing all the time that but in close depending on the cases i told you if patient can afford then you can do the elizar if not then you can go for plaster immobilization even i'm telling you one thing the main task, Professor Shepsov, first time when I met him in 2003, he told me our task is the moment, moment all the time with full weight back. That's why we, are, we, we love to do the Lizaro. With plaster immobilization, you cannot weight bear. After 72 hours, you can tell your patient, yes, you can weight bear. But that may happen your displacement. But with this Lizaro apparatus, your fixation must be stable and you can do that. And healing process is very good and for children is very nice. Okay, so, I think uh, there is a network problem in case of Dr. So, Dr. Samir, what do we Normally we do either a plaster cast or a tense nail children if it is displaced. What is the protocol okay. that you uh, Anatoly, you, you follow me? This Nobody. Is, this, uh, this is a learning for the young orthopedic. And uh you yes, sir, I think I think there's a network issue. I think uh, there is a net problem there. Uh, uh, uh yeah, no, because some sort of sorry. Mm -hmm. I, Please, please, Dr. Fransundar, sir, please. Uh, yes, uh, normally in uh, India, in children uh, fracture, we go for either plaster ca uh, slab and cast, and if uh, there is a trauma, displaced trauma, we go for a uh, tense nail uh, uh, added with plaster. So we don't usually do elizero in uh, children unless it is a uh, great CB compound, or the score very compound. And even then, we try to go with uh, tense nail and uh, uh, plastic surgery, but the drawback is that after applying tensor or plaster, the patient has to be immobilized in plaster for a longer time. But as said, Elizero gives next day movement. That is a very good device. And done even in children also. My question to uh, Barisar and Novigos said that uh, in young children in tibia, in case of uh, panostomalitis or a pathological fracture, what is the protocol, sir? Dear colleagues, I want a little bit explain about a uh, small story. A few days ago with uh, Dr. Anatoly, we was in a uh, fourth uh, city in our country, uh, big city, Novosibirsk. After Moscow, St. Petersburg and Kazan, uh, this is a uh, <coughs> city with uh, excellent medicine and you can see just now this is baby uh, maybe six uh, maybe seven years old more than three weeks 
in the traction. And this is gold standard treatment in the Russia. And you can see, once again, so many patients with traction, fracture of tibia, fracture of uh, homerus, fracture of uh, femur, and uh, doctor in the Russia, if Ray uh, met that Elizara because he is invasive. And here, doctor says, uh, we mini invasive, we pass wire, and if already doctor pass wire, this is uh, humerus, fracture of humerus, and baby three weeks in the bed with traction. This is gold treatment according of recommendation, uh, St. Petersburg at Moscow. Three weeks without any movement, go uh, baby out of uh, life, plus add only three uh, wires more below and uh, near the fracture and patient immediately uh, can use uh, this segment can stand up can bend and bend and uh, for me uh, with uh, elizabeth methods we can support uh, for our patient any fracture b3 any open fracture, closed fracture, and we can give uh, patients uh, possibilities for activities. For me, uh, for all of the life, I no want uh, lost time. Any fracture, we support uh, with Elizabeth uh, methods, but for uh, children, we have a special department, uh, trauma department, only baby. Uh, this is doctor can touch. Maybe this is good, maybe not. Uh, doctor Barry is happy because uh, uh, he can support uh, patients uh, from first year or in the life and till 100 years. And I uh, think uh, this is depend of doctor, depend, uh, depend of country. But just now we can recommend uh, doctor uh excellent magic methods for treatment elizabeth mm -hmm. methods forever thank you uh, thank you thank, thank you. you very much sir, mm -hmm. sir uh, i have a question to professor navikov sir uh, sir uh, if we put uh, plaster in case of uh, uh, seven or uh, six years baby in close fracture tibia uh, then uh, how long it will put the plaster cast for that baby. Six years, Six baby, years close back at tibia. I uh, sent your questions uh, for professional, and usually at this department, uh, no more than one month. This is depend of uh, fracture, the, uh, depend of energy uh, of uh, fracture, and usually no than one month. Okay, sir. Then if close we put, it, simple uh, fracture, uh, one month. Uh, but in case of uh, Elizarov, if you uh, put Elizarov in that same patient, uh, then how long you continue the Elizarov for? treatment it is one month or more than one month uh, and, and, uh, one month you see or... just now we talk about time uh, time is same plaster cast one month elizabeth methods one month but during this one month patient can weight bearing patient can move in the joint, uh, knee joint and ankle joint. And what is it? This is blood circulation. And when we have uh, time for removal of frame, this is absolutely different tibia. First tibia with plaster cast, atrophic, all of muscles, no work joints, all of joints is dry. Then patient needs spend time for rehabilitation, for joints and uh, 
uh, back for normal life, all of soft tissue. Time is uh, like pregnant. Just now we talk uh, about uh, natural time for healing. And uh, when somebody talk uh, about, oh, just now I will you give uh, you no know, gold tablet and uh, you can get uh, immediately consolidation. This is not good. This is very bad. Time is time. And just now we talk about uh, quality of uh, result. With Elizarov, quality is great, magic, full. problem uh, after removal of the reserve, uh, do you put any brace or any cast? And, uh, uh, just, just a moment. During uh, plaster cast, sometimes, not all, but sometimes, we have second displacement. We have situation when inside of uh, uh, plaster cast, baby jump, baby is baby, uh, swelling is go uh, reduced. Uh, change of volume of soft tissue and then inside of plaster cast we have displacement after one month consolidation position like that must again broken angulation, angulation with the elizara of uh, if we have any displacement if we have any angulations deformity everything in our head we uh, check with x-ray correction of this situation little bit uh, fixation few days and then we can uh, finish the, our treatment with uh, excellent axis and excellent function of joints this is uh, another plus of uh, methods of elizarov uh, second uh, displacement inside of plaster cast Но на самом деле по нашим исследованиям 6-7 летних детей не так и много было Пик начинается с 8 лет, то есть у нас оперативное лечение с 8 до 14 лет больше всего прооперировано. And uh, this is uh, patients from uh, 6 to 8, uh, small group. Usually uh, for, I don't know why, but uh, many patients from 8 to uh, 14 years. Maybe this is activities and when baby uh, go and uh, spend all time out of family. Okay, that's great, sir. Uh, but we can make a comparative study between the plaster cast and the Elizarov in case of uh, children. Uh, sir, I have one last question. Uh, do you put any uh, brace or uh, plaster cast after removal of the Elizarov? He is understand. Мы накладываем, у детей часто бывает такой эффект после снятия аппарата. Они, когда ходили с фиксированным аппаратом ногой, наступали нам. Когда мы снимаем аппарат, они боятся находить. И мы что-то, ну, на короткий период накладываем лицо на гету, просто психологически и разрешаем наступать на ногу. Это 3-5 дней буквально после снятия аппарата. Барри, помогай. As soon as you remove the apparatus, the patient is afraid. The little boys, five, six, seven years, then for a short period, they put a back slap a little bit for five days and then remove that one, not for a long time. Just psychological support for giving them. As soon as you remove the apparatus, patient is afraid of putting the uh, white beer. That's why for a short period, for five or six days, they put the back slap. Okay, sir. Okay. Mario, thank you. У детей старшего возраста мы не накладываем гипс. Сняли аппарат, они встали и пошли сразу. У детей более старшего возраста, old, adolescent, adolescent, мы не накладываем брейс. Сняли, ремовал аппарат, встали и пошли сразу. Adolescent patients, they don't put their, as soon as you remove the apparatus, they put, don't put the apparatus here, uh, plaster. They just tell the adolescent patient, you can convince them easily with plaster. Without plaster, they can work. And I do also that for adolescent patients. Children is still... Yeah, no, no brace even in adolescent patients, sir, after laser. No, 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 no. Whenever uh, you see 
you have removed the apparatus adolescent before removing you must see the three cortex all this right AP, right. lateral and oblique if you see all the things is very nicely consolidated in union then you don't need to put any plaster right but for is this purpose for taking money you can put there is another way see this is the risk judgment yes i am telling you most of the doctors some day they do that to make <coughs> Just to avoid the risk of good, good, good paper. See, uh, Anatoly Karabenov, Karabenikov, he presented a very good paper for young doctors. It will be new. Why close fracture? Sometimes close fracture. You are going for elastic nailing. Yes. If you can put elastic nail, why not external fixed elizar? All external fixators. Are not the same. These are quite different than other all external fixators. Less costly. Only can wear flexible wear. You can use that is good, very good. I as I would do that. Okay, that's great. Uh, I think uh, uh, it has a lots of controversy, and uh, we like uh, controversy in case of sharing knowledge. Yes, uh, as because of uh, it's a new new topic and. I think uh, in the coming part of our program, we will discuss about that also. And I would like to prefer uh, one more presenter to present about the uh, Elizarov in case of uh, fractured children so that we can uh, know uh, much more things uh, regarding uh, this uh, type of uh, fracture uh, in children. And uh, definitely uh, the young surgeons uh, will take over this Elizarov in case of uh, children fracture also. Uh, now, I would like to request uh, uh, Professor uh, Navikov sir to say something, uh, a last few words uh, regarding our uh, program today. Thank you very much, for the Dr. Anatoly. Thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> now, uh, we can recommend uh, from six years, I am absolutely agree with Dr. Barry, for three, five years, this is not so good, uh, maybe not so good treatment, but from six years, we can recommend uh, any type of fracture, closed and uh, open fracture. This is uh, excellent methods. And during the way, during the fixation, we can uh, reduce, we can remove any problem, including uh, your questions, Dr. Barry, including problem of soft tissue. We can uh, uh, first, with uh, big damage of soft tissue, we can uh, go to the shortening, make angulation for repair uh, healing of wound of uh, soft tissue. Then continue treatment like uh, orthopedics uh, case and uh, everything inside of one method of treatment. If patient need uh, plastic uh, support, we can invite uh, this is specialities, but inside of uh, Elizarov treatment, if inside of Elizarov uh, effect, because uh, uh, with Elizarov effect, we can grow any tissue, bone, muscles, and skin. Thank you. Next Friday, next Friday they will talk again. Another topics. Uh, yeah, he will we'll come. But next Friday uh, we prepare for Doctor uh, Shikhaleva. She will prepare a uh, fracture of hand. Okay. Oh. Okay. So that's uh, treatment uh, fracture of hand by uh, Mini Elizara. Mini Elizara. You can. Uh, okay. That's great. Okay. That's great. Uh, dear viewers, uh, thank you very much for being with us. I uh, hope we will see you in the coming Friday uh, with a magnificent topic uh, regarding Elizarov, the magic of Elizarov. Uh, it may be hand or it may be in uh, TBI, it may be in Elizarov. It can, uh, we can use Elizarov in everywhere of the body. And I would like to request uh, Raj TV for helping us to arrange this type of academic program and definitely Red Pharmaceuticals Limited for sponsoring our program. And I'm Dr. Mahmoud Tanvir uh, uh, giving thanks to all our academic experts and the learned speaker for being with us. And hope we will see you in the coming Friday. Till then, 
I would like to say bye bye to you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You are watching Raj TV. Jagorone Bangladesh. Please subscribe our channel.